Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're doing good. We're here with another video for my creative year. This is my review for the month. My review is going to be about the Bible Gel High Glider crayons. Now, there's lots of other gel crayons out there on the market, and there's even other highlighter gel crayons on the market. I prefer this particular brand because of the color range. So you can get them in a set of six, or you can get them in a set of 10. And I believe the extra four colors from the set of 10 are these four colors. And these brighter ones are in the set of six. I, I like the full color range. I use these for my daily sketches. I use them all the time. This is my daily sketch custom keeper. Um, which is made by Shannon Green. I'll put a link for that and the gel crayons in the description below. Um, <clears throat> and I have a set of 10 of the gel crayons in here, a water brush, a Stabilo pencil, two white gel pens, which drive me up the wall, and I just have an issue with white gel pens. It's just me, not them, anyway. Off subject. <laughs> a Pilot Varsity disposable fountain pen, and two Bic ballpoint pens, just plain old old big crystal ballpoint pens. With them I do daily sketches. Um, I sometimes do random word sketches which is in a different journal. Um, this particular one are prompted sketches. Uh, currently I'm working with prompts from Draw Riot uh, Daily. I'll include their website in the, in the description below. And they have monthly lists like this of prompts. This particular month of January is all colors which has been super challenging. Um, and I like these gel high gliders because the sketches become all about the sketches and the highlighter crayon just adds a little bit of oomph to the sketches, um, a little bit of pop. Um, but because they're a highlighter and they're translucent rather than opaque like other gel crayons, I can use them on top of the pen and get really interesting results and highlight my sketch without overpowering said sketch. Yeah. So here are some examples of what I've done with the ballpoint pen. The gray, blue-gray color you see is the Pilot Varsity disposable fountain pen, and the colored parts are the gel highlighters, with the exception of some of the gray, which is the gray highlighter crayon. And I really am loving the results that we get. So today I wanted to give you a little review on them and show you a couple of things. I'll put this back in here so I can remember where I was. And let's set this aside. These are um, cell phone charms, by the way, from the Japanese dollar store. Okay, so I love these. I want to review them and show you a few techniques. I also want to try to recreate a problem a friend of mine had with them recently when she was working in a, in a composition notebook and she put some of this on the page and then closed the book and then when she went back to it a couple hours later the pages stuck together. I've never had that problem with them. Um, I know my friend Lisa Swank has done her, um, some experiments. I don't think she posted them on YouTube but she did do some experiments experiments and she did not have a problem with them. So we're going to see if we can recreate what happened and figure out why it happened uh, and what's different about how I use them and she uses them and um, I'll show you how I use them. Now I get these on Amazon. The only other place I've ever seen them in real life um, is at my local Christian bookstore. They do have them. They don't always have all the colors in stock. So I usually just get the 10 pack from Amazon. It's easier. Okay, set those aside because those I pulled out of something else, but I have a whole set of them here. These are um, the same crayon, but they're fatter, and I have not found the set of 10 yet in these fatter ones. I only have the set of six that way, so I'm going to keep researching that, and if I find something different, I'll put it in the description and let you all know. Those aren't them. Okay, so here we go. So <clears throat> my friend used a composition notebook, so it's similar paper to this notepad from Office Max. So we're going to try a, something on that one. And then I have a piece of just plain old printer paper. I have a piece of like 
manila folder paper. This is actually a page out of a delusions journal. And then, let's see. I have a piece of 70 pound sketchbook paper, which is similar to the paper I use in my daily sketchbooks. So we're going to try all of these. I'm going to just cut that in half. We're going to, first thing we're going to do is fold all these in half. And we're going to need a paintbrush. Okay, I'm going to start with the drawing paper. And I've got a, a paintbrush. Okay, so I use just a plain old Bic pen. And I'm going to just... Do, I'm just going to scribble. This is the Pilot Varsity Disposable Fountain Pen. I'm going to line those up so I'm, I'm going to actually write. Let's see. Bic. Pilot. Let's not use this one because they don't even make that pen anymore. Um, this is a Uniball Signo gel pen in brown. You can, it doesn't just come in black. I mean in white, it comes in black, brown, and a bunch of other colors. Okay, and this is a Sharpie, um, a Sharpie pen, fine point Sharpie pen, which is a really great pen, by the way. It's waterproof. Okay, then, Let's do, I want it to be bright because I want you to be able to see it. It's not even a gel crayon. Um, let's do the purple. And you can see what, that you can see the pen underneath the gel highlighter. Now when it first goes on, it's a little sticky. One thing I do is I take a damp brush and I use, out on the couch I have the um, Pentel water brush and right away I'll get it wet and it'll smear the gel highlighter just a little bit. It doesn't always get rid of it all the way but it does do a decent job. Yeah, and then um, I also do it dry. Let's switch colors. I'll know, although the color shouldn't make a difference. And let's use um, this one. All the, these are all made by the same company. They're all Bible high gliders. Um, yeah, they're all exactly the same. They're not light fast. So this one is sticky. These others are, that one's kind of sticky. This one's dry. So really quick, what I'm going to do is fold it back, push down on it, and set it aside. I'm going to do the same thing to all these other pieces of paper. And by the way, you'll notice that I, I drew on there, I got water on it, I um, didn't activate the Pilot Varsity pen, but let's do that a little bit. See, it's this, this one, and it'll blend with the Bible High Glider. Anyway, um, you can see on this 70 pound drawing paper, it didn't really ghost. Now it is drawing paper, so um, it'll ghost a little bit. Um, but you can't scrub at it too much like you would a watercolor paper, but it does do a decent job. It's my favorite drawing paper. <laughs> I 
There's evidently something on that paper. And I'm just going to mark them all. Now, these two first papers should do pretty well um, with the Bible crayons and getting wet. These next two probably, they probably won't do very well. Um, they're pretty thin paper. I generally don't, oops, don't use these on that thin of paper. Okay, and then we're going to get some of it wet. I just use a damp brush, nothing too wet. And you can see the pilot pen. Okay, so we're going to right away, we're going to close that, set it aside. All right, let's try the, what is this, printer paper? <laughs> Oops. Forgot what pen I was writing with there for a minute. Now, I know she had writing on there and she was highlighting some of the writing and drawing that she did. I don't know what kind of pen she used. I think it was a Sharpie. And actually on these two pieces of paper, I'm gonna let go heavy because I think she put a lot of it on there and I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't generally put that much. I did. I do generally like I did with the first two. Okay, and then we're gonna get some of it wet. And you can see how it just moves around the pigment and makes it into something that's kind of like paint. So that's interesting. This is printer paper though, so it's bled through. We're gonna push on that and then this is the one that's just the regular kind of note paper that's I think kind of like the paper that she used in her composition notebook This will be a good test of what you can and can't do with these. I do prefer to carry these around rather than other things in my daily sketchbook because um, they're easy to take. You don't necessarily have to have a water brush with you to use them. I like the fact that I don't have lots of colors, that I have a limited color choice. I find it challenging. And I like the fact that they're transparent. It's really all about the sketch then, and these are just an accent to the sketch. Those are all things that I really like. I've tried putting other things in my sketch book, daily sketch bag, and I just keep going back to just these things. Okay, so that's all done. And I got all of those ones wet, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna stack all these up. I'm gonna put them under something heavy, and we will come back to that. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, all right, it's been a couple of hours. I had my little tray of weights here sitting on top of it. Put these away. Okay, sorry, that was a little noisy. And here we go. So we're gonna start with the first one that I did. This is the 70 pound drawing paper. Did you hear that? It stuck a little bit but not too bad. This is the Delusions Journal paper. No sticking at all. 
This is the printer paper. Ooh, sticky. That stuck. This is the notepad paper, like the composition notebook. I can tell you right now it's already sticking. So it did stick. It didn't stick. Hers actually did damage when she pulled it apart. While I didn't have that, it does seem like the thinner papers had some sticking issues, while the thicker papers did not. That may be the difference between what she did and what I usually do. I never use this kind of thin paper with these crayons. So just be aware of that, and I would say that if you use them on thinner like composition book paper, leave it open until it dries, uh, put a piece of wax paper in between or something like that um, so that you don't have any issues with it sticking or ruining your work. Once it does dry, you might want to give it a coat of wax. All right, so here's that other half of that drawing paper. <clears throat> and I'm going to just show you a quick sketch of what I normally do with the crayons. I'm just going to fold it because I usually work small <laughs> and I like that better, to be honest with you. Uh, I put everything away, which I probably oops, shouldn't have done. I probably should have left it out, so that's okay. And I'm going to get my big pen and my Pilot Varsity pen and a paintbrush. All right, let's zoom in. There we go. All right, so I usually start with a Bic pen. I usually keep my lines very light. I barely touch it to the paper. What to draw, what to draw. I think we're gonna keep it easy. It is February, um, it's the month of Valentine's Day. So I think we're gonna use that. We're gonna use that, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the lines light until I have the design firm. I do not start with pencil that I then erase. I always just do it in pen. Of course, if you're doing this, you can start in pencil until you get lines you like. Go over it with pen and then do some erasing. Of course you can. I don't do that, <laughs> but you can. This is a design that is in my Etsy shop or something similar anyway. Just wondering if I'm zoomed in enough. There we go. That's a little better. Try to give it some dimension. Going to add some sketchy lines for shadow. Now the big pen is not water soluble, so it's going to stay wherever I put it. Again, I'm keeping the lines light and sketchy until I'm sure of where I have them. If you've been following my daily drawings for a while, you've seen me sketch something similar not long ago. So once I have the basic design down, the basic shapes, then I'll go back with the same pen and I darken up some of the lines. I don't generally darken up all the lines, but I do some. Okay. 
Again, this is 70 pound drawing paper. This is from a ream of paper I got at Amazon, but you can get pads of 70 pound drawing paper at most places that sell art papers. Okay, so then I always go in then with the Pilot Varsity fountain pen, which is water soluble. And basically I use the Pilot Varsity pen as my gray, as my um, shadow color. So I go in anywhere where I want to add those shadows and I add a little bit of this pen. It won't dissolve completely when I am activating it, but it will a little bit. And it, the ink will move around and give me that little accent that I want. Okay. Then I go in with the water brush. Uh, damp, not super drippy or anything. Um, and this is actually, this brush is the wrong shape, so hang on. Let's get around one. You don't want to wait too long because you don't want it to dry. So I'm going to go in with a, a round brush is better. Yeah, that's better. So I push the ink around and I let it help me create the shadows. and depth to the little sketch that I'm doing. Okay, then I will go in with some colors of highlighter crayon. I stopped buying these big huge ones because not only did they not come in as many colors as the skinny ones, but it's hard to do this kind of coloring uh, with the big crayons, which I didn't like, so I know one of you is going to ask. And they're ma all made by the same company, so I like the color range in the 10 pack. Um, let's do pink. Add just a little bit of the red. Okay, and before that dries too much, I'm going to go in with my water brush and move that pigment from the crayon around. You don't have to get it wet. Um, I've done plenty of these sketches where I just leave it and don't move it around at all. Um, that works fine too. So there you go. You get the idea. So it is really my uh, pick for the month. Um, I think it's a great tool to have in your art room. There are other companies that make gel highlighter crayons, including Sharpie. So if you have some of those and you want to try those, do that. Um, I will say one more thing that you can do with the crayons is you can go in here with your finger um, and move it around and more so, th that's kind of wet so it's not really showing, but let's do a little swatch down here. Um, so one of the things I like to do with them is I like to, oh, I'm off camera. There we go. Um, I like to go in onto a dry page with the, the crayons. And sometimes I do this on the sketches. And I'll put a couple of colors down and then I'll go in with my finger. And you can move them around and blend them with your finger. You do have to work pretty quickly because they will dry and they won't blend completely, but they just give you something 
like I said, loose, sketchy, interesting, which I love. So there you go, Bell Bible Gel High Gliders. Um, think about adding a highlighter crayon to your collection of supplies or something similar. You can achieve, achieve similar results with other gel crayons, but they're not transparent. So a gel highlighter crayon is going to be transparent. You won't lose your sketchy lines. Once you have this on here, it's your last layer. You can't write over it or anything, not easily. Um, so that's it for this month. Think about it. I'll put some links in the description below. Tr give it a try and see what you think. Above all, Besi <laughs> besides join the Facebook group. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, you know, we do daily um, art encouragement, support, um, camaraderie, friendship. Um, we post all these classes, materials, lists, and everything else over in the Facebook group. So check out the Facebook group. Think about joining. And uh, above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself. Do a few sketches. Practice with your gel crayons and enjoy life. That's it for today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.